so I'm posting a, another video about this real estate stuff because I was just watching a, some guy in Vegas. He's talking about the markets and real estate, and he had some facts and figures that were uh, interesting, you know, kind of similar to what I was pulling up. But um, he was talking about the if the market was to crash, for, for people to be able to buy a home, what would happen, and how much would be lost. It was like 35% of the price it would have to go down 35% for people to be, able to be able to afford a house. And, um, <clears throat> so, I was thinking, it made me think about it, you know, and so what I, I what, here's, here's what, um, I was thinking, you know, needs to be done. So they need to, you know, I'm working on it. I, I I don't know how long. It might take a month for me to get to New England, where I can uh, be a little safer. And it's it's a better place that way as far as security goes, and then, and um, uh, be around American people because they don't, there's not as many foreign born there. If I go, well, I might end up in Massachusetts because I got to do business find some way to do business without being too evil, I guess. And I don't I don't expect real estate to be my future. I have a friend who's an architect, lives in New Jersey. He started a painting company and he doesn't know much about uh, business, but it's not, I told him all he has to do is just do some marketing. It's real easy. Put up some ads. I don't think I want to get involved with him because then he's a good painter and cares. He's an architect, you know, and he cares how well he does things. But he starts hiring employees, and then all kinds of things will happen. And uh, make it a headache and not much of a something to enjoy. So. I want, um, well, I mean, it's just all a mindset to even be an employer. You, you know, if you got to accept your employees or, you know, if you know that they don't care as much as you about how well things are done, then you just got to be tactful and give incentive to doing a good job. Like, give them a bonus if there's no mistakes or complaints, you know, about the jobs and stuff like that. Pay him well enough, too. That, that really helps. So, uh, they have, like, you know, three complaints, sir, and I gotta let you go. <clears throat> Policy, and that would have to be like over a period of time like three three complaints in a year and I gotta let you go because customers complain a lot you know sometimes you might just get it like what they call a Karen and, and uh, you know, the paint can he sent his paint can on my sidewalk and I need didn't want it there or something, you know. Well, I next time I'm not gonna hire this very unprofessional. You get those people, but you know the owner's gotta have some savvy and decide what the severity of the complaint may be. But then Nobody's perfect. So, that's a pretty fair thing. But, so, <clears throat> so, back to the, the subject. 
don't know what I was talking about. This real estate stuff. And um, we, I really want to do a coffee shop political party. And um, because a coffee house, I call it the coffee house party, because they do the tea party, but I want to do the coffee house party. And um, because I can put up a coffee house everywhere, in every town, you know, neighborhoods, all over the city. And we start lobbying to just sue these, to get people put away. And it's lobbying the courts and SEC, and um, to make regulations about first-time buyers. But I want to do lawsuits, class action lawsuits, using these coffee houses, and then um, against every investor in every community, man, who's bought more than their share of houses. And um, you know, I want to put these people away because, like. If, if, if the damage and suffering people are going through is, is real bad. I mean, who needs all this government stuff if we can't have a house living, okay? People built the houses, can't even get a house. And, and there's so many, there you got architects, you got, you got, you know, every construction trade, carpenter, cement mason, every construction trade. And, and, and probably be at least 85 to 90% of the real estate salesmen can't buy a house, okay, because they don't earn enough. Real estate salesmen don't earn jack unless they're the top-notch ones who, could, who like, spent $50,000 in marketing that year or something, you know. And it's like, it like the top 10 five percent something you know are the only ones earning most they sell most of the houses even somebody working on real estate um they can't buy a house either <laughs> they're not investors they're just salesmen and so so what is that you know and then when people are tapped for money it hurts every business in the community, everything people do for a living, whether it's restaurants, whether it's anything, any service, you know, they can't afford to remodel, they can't afford to do anything. And uh, they're tapped on their mortgage and their rent. And um, of course, the investor groups, they all, they remodel, that's, that's just, they're buying these houses. They're remodeling them. So they're mo remodeling companies. That's construction. We go instead of, of building, you know, residential homes, housing or something. They're going to remodeling them. Because if they build houses, then that lowers the price of the housing market. So they're not doing that. Of course, nobody can do that. And um, then they have to tear up a bunch of land too. And um, but it does. It does create the demand for new houses, so that's good for 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 residential developers and um, you know builders. But they haven't zoned because these real estate investors are involved with the zoning laws. They're you know they're who got elected, and that's what they were created an oligarchy. You know it's 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 a group effort. So we're suffering. A whole lot. Um, people who are, if, if, if the market crashes, okay, so, so if we sue, sue because they bought up all the houses for money, for damages, of all the time we have to, to pay for rent and couldn't be invested in a house, and, 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 um, you know, and then, uh, Whatever other suffering we have, and then the people who have a house, when the market crashes, they're going to be losing a lot of money. So, doing a class hash lawsuit against the people who are manipulating the markets because it wasn't it wasn't the natural course, 
you know, it was their their manipulation, their interference, and their control, and their seriously plotting create create that local, state level oligarchy or whatever, right? And so, what we need is um, so they're going to be if we if we sue for for damages for on both sides you know the, the home buyer so I think you know they ought to just maybe sue the mortgage companies and the and the real estate people so they don't or, or lobby the courts so they don't have to pay since they, they manipulate the markets they don't have to uh, pay any more on their mortgage you know just get it at what they have it at because the, the prices are so high even now you can start why either way you can start you know suing them until the, the companies go bankrupt or whatever but then um, be lobbying the courts so that they don't have to or, or politicians or whatever executive branch or governor or whoever because uh, so then people would be at where they're at in their, their payments. And people already own their homes, they'd still be suffering. And they should be able to see the mortgage companies um, for all their losses. And <clears throat> so, you, you know, it, it just goes all the way around. And then uh, the first time buyer priority law that needs to be done, you know, so where there's a waiting period where they have to sell to a first time buyer only um, for at least the first 30 to 90 days.